Hello. You are about to make one of the most incendiary objects known to mankind. It's not a bomb, it's not a rocket, and it's not even a gun. It's a pamphlet. Yes, a pamphlet made of paper. Uh, pamphlets were one of the easiest ways to spread information in the 18th century. They were cheap and easy to make. Most literate people had at least a few, and those who could not read were used to going to common houses and to taverns to listen to them being read or discussed. Uh, some of the more famous ones, such as Thomas Paine's Common Sense, um, were widely disseminated, widely published, and many of them have existed to the present day. They were the Twitter feeds of their day, would probably be the best way to compare them. But they're much more permanent and ultimately more influential. So, as you see, very important, very dangerous document. And you get to learn how to make this. Lucky you. But why do we learn how to make things by hand in the digital age, you might ask? Nothing we say is ever incidental or trivial, so you might as well make it awesome. And awesome, in this case, has a really low threshold. All you need to make a pamphlet, this is a really simple, basic, couple sheet pamphlet. You need a sheet of cardstock, a couple sheets of plain paper, a needle and very strong thread. I'm using butcher's twine here. A pencil, a nice ruler, and you may want to get one of these for between $5 and $10. This is called a bone folder. You don't necessarily need one, but it does make your life a lot easier. So the first thing we're going to do is fold our paper. Our regular paper is the inside of the pamphlet. And we're going to do this the right way. We're using 8 and a half by 11 paper, so it's your basic copy paper. We're going to measure halfway across, which is 5 and a half inches. We're going to make a mark. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Another mark at 5 and a half inches. Let's take a look like that. And we're going to use these as our reference marks to know where the fold should go. We line up our corners. And we take a look. Our mark should be right at the end there. Make a small crease. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Small crease. Your mark is right there. And we'll put this on our table. And definitely use a table. Don't do this on a carpeted floor. This does not work. I'm going to go to the halfway point right there. Use our bone folder to smooth it out. A bone folder makes a very smooth, sharp crease. And it's a lot easier to work with than just trying to fold it with your hands. Now that our, our inside is done, our interior, we're going to do the same thing with the cover. We're and since our cover is the same size as our inside pages, we're going to use the same measurements. So now you have your cover and you have your inside. And they're going to fit together ultimately just like that. To get the pamphlet inside into the cover, we're going to unfold the sheet so we see our inner crease. We're going to take our ruler. Now this is about eight and a half inches long. We want about, about a third of the way in. So we're going to say about two and a quarter inches. And we make a little mark. So two and a quarter inches, we make another mark. Take a look. Page is roughly, you know, it's roughly thirds. It doesn't have to be exact. But the two ends should be equidistant from their edges. We take our needle. We want a big, strong needle. This is one that's used for yarn. And we go where that mark is. We poke a hole right there. We do the same thing on the other side. Poke it right through. We're going to do the same measurements for the cover. 
So we unfold it, get her nice in her crease. Now the next thing I do, and this is optional, I take my interior and my cover, and I try to line the holes up. Now one of the ways I can, you can do this is you can just hold it up to the light. But what I find easier is I take one of the holes and I use the needle and poke it through so that they line up. It should line up on both sides, which it does. You should be able to see right through them, actually. You should be able to see light right through them. So now that your holes are lined up, everything is lined up, take about about 10 inches of thread. And it can be rough. It doesn't have to be exact. Cut it. And threading from the inside, you go through, you go through your hole, and you're going to leave some thread inside. You might want to put your thumb there to keep it in place. Gonna run it through the other side. This one's a little trickier, so usually you have to separate the pages from the cover a little bit for a second. Pull it through, take your needle off, even out the two edges a bit. Want them to be about the same. Even out these interior threads, tie a double knot, and here's how you start a revolution 18th century style. You have the means to do it, well you put in these pages, it's up to you. Now go be awesome.